When you think of smashing pumpkins, ours are, you think of the band and not actually launching pumpkins into the air. Yeah, we're on the go with Joe at Heiser Farms in Dayton to tell us all about the return of the giant pumpkin cannons. Joe, I'm a fan of the band, but this is way more fun. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're back here at uh, Heiser Farms once again. I got uh, John Heiser with me right here, and it's the return of the giant pumpkin cannons. They haven't had it since 2019, uh, and, you know, the whole pumpkin patch. They got There's all sorts of fun stuff that people can do here, but how long have you been doing the pumpkin cannons here at the farm, John? Early 2000s. Okay, so coming up on 20 years now, and, Zach, it's you and your whole family that have been doing this. I mean, you, yeah. you're, what, what is it about your family and these giant cannons here? I don't know. I think it's a little bit of redneck and everybody <laughs> likes to come out here and kill pumpkins. Exactly. Come out and embrace your inner... I, maybe it's more like an orange neck because we're talking about pumpkins here. And these are the kind of pumpkins... Like, what kind of pumpkins do you actually shoot out of your these, cannon? Here? These are more of a squash, okay. and we shoot out of the big cannons because they yeah. got more air and they hit them harder. Yeah. So their skin is thicker. You wouldn't carve this. Gotcha. The carving pumpkins, the more traditional ones there... Uh, the duck hunter can shoot those because it doesn't hit them as hard. In the end, they all get squashed, don't they? Yeah. It doesn't really matter what they are. And you have a couple. What are the different cannons that we have right here? So we have Rosie the Riveter. She's the most powerful cannon we have. She can shoot just shy of 3,000 feet. Uh, she's got 240 gallons of volume. That's why she hits everything so hard. Mm -hmm. Then Marvin down there, that's a 200-gallon tank yeah. and the duck hunter 60 so when you're watching them that's just kind of the difference okay so uh this weekend they're gonna have the uh, demolition derby where they shoot the, the pumpkins at a car we've actually got one set up we're saving that for a little bit later on good day oregon so right now we're gonna fire off rosie and marvin so i'll let you guys uh man your stations here now normally mid-october they have a lot of cloud cover down here at heiser farms not so much We've got to shoot it right into the sun today. So Gerald's got to adjust the camera. So hopefully you can see there. It's kind of blinding right now. But whenever you're ready, which one are we firing first? Rosie? All right. So Rosie's going to try to shoot those cannons or shoot those barrels right over the uh, car there. So keep your eye on those ones over the <laughs> Oh, look at that. Left a few standing there, but uh, pretty, pretty good. Okay, not too shabby. And boy, is that loud. Okay. Now, uh, Zach is going to shoot the second one. That one is Marvin. So let's get back there. Let's get our shot set up here. Let Daryl adjust the camera. All right, when you're ready, fire at will. <laughs> Look at that. Just a bit off the top. Uh, once again, Heiser Farms, you can check out the pumpkin cannons in action. So uh, they're only, uh, what, I guess Saturday and Sunday is when they're in operation, right, John? Yep, Saturday, Sunday for the cannons. We are open limited attractions on Fridays. Okay, and the demolition derby is this weekend. Speaking of which, coming up in Good Day, Oregon, guys, that car, well, its warranty is about to expire because uh, we're going to uh, introduce it to some pumpkins coming at it at a very high speed. Lots more coming away from Heiser Farms in just a bit. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Oh, my gosh. And this is just the beginning. We have another hour or so of this. So you definitely want to tune in for more pumpkin launching fun from Joe coming up. Hey, you know